Hello, BTL. How are you guys doing? Look, I know you're excited. This is the first week of the fast, and I know that you're just hyped and just really into what the Lord is doing. Just wanted to come to you to encourage you concerning the fast, let you know that we are moving full steam ahead. I know God is doing some great and mighty things as you dedicate and consecrate yourself to this 40 days of fasting. Listen, I want to encourage you. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. When you wake up in the morning, clothe yourself with power. Put on, have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Gird your loins about with truth. In other words, say, this, this is the day I'm walking in truth. He, Jesus said something like this. He said, hey, you, you're my disciple indeed. If you continue in my word, you're my disciple indeed. He said, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. And that's what we're doing during these 40 days of consecrating. We're consecrating ourselves to truth. And as we consecrate ourselves to this truth, this truth is going to cause liberation to take place in our soul, liberation to take place in our mind, in our thinking. We'll be able to think the thoughts of God. We'll be able to do what um, Romans 4 and 17 says. It's in the last part, it says, God called those things that be not as though they were. We're going to have that type of faith where we begin calling things. We're not going to be settled in what we see but we are called for truth. We may see a fact of a life, but we are going to call for the truth on top of that fact. And we know that truth always supersedes or have authority over the facts of life. So I want to encourage you again, hang in there, be strong. Don't give in to temptation, but just keep going with the Lord. And, and you got this. If you just put forth the effort, we talked a couple of weeks ago about being responsible as a, as a child of God. We have to be responsible. We have to say, you know what? I must take responsi responsibility. I must be responsible for my action. It's time for me to get out of bed. You know, the bed syndrome is where you blame others, where we make excuses and where we deny that we are the issue. And so what we're saying is I'm going to get out of the bed syndrome because the bed syndrome leads to poverty. The bed syndrome leads to uh, living a life that was not meant for us to live a life of uh, always lacking, a life of being impoverished. And we're not going to live that type of life. We're going to live and experience the life we were meant to live. Isn't that exciting? Yes, it is. So I want to encourage you during the fast. You can do it. Look, we just we just started at starting and God has some great and mighty things he's going to reveal. This will be a fast of favor, deliverance, a fast of of our breakthrough, a fast of experiencing the presence of God. Just think about for 40 days you're consuming, you're seeking after God. And God says this, he that seek after me and no wise will I cast him out. So we have God's promise. We have his assurance that as we come after him, hey, he's going to come after us. Then Jesus says, hey, come unto me, all ye that labor with heavy burden. He says, I'll give you rest. So that's what we are doing. We're coming after him and we're going to enter into this divine rest. And inside of that rest is the peace and joy and the fullness of God's presence. And I'm excited about entering into this rest where we can have a settled heart about every and any situations of life. As I said, it's not about what we can eat, but it's about confronting what's eating us. So my friend, be encouraged and until I come on again, I don't know how often I will be doing these videos, but I'll be coming back and encouraging during the upcoming days, the upcoming weeks. Look, I'm proud of you. You can do it. And with the grace and the help of God, we will achieve together in Jesus name. Amen.